the 158th annual Ripley Huron Fall Fair, virtual style. We had a chance to catch up with Serena Lamont, and she tells us about flower farming. That's coming up next. Hi, I'm Serena Lamont. I am the owner and operator of Concession Blooms, which is field to vase, meaning I grow flowers for the cut flower industry. The majority of my flowers I sell at a market. Um, however, some are sold through a subscription service, so people pay in advance and I deliver flowers to them at a scheduled time. And a few of my flowers also go for custom bouquets for events or just to brighten people's days. Um, this flower I'm holding here kind of looks unusual. It is amaranth. So this is one of the varieties I do grow. The ones in the background are also amaranth. Um, on top of amaranth, I grow a lot of sunflowers and some dahlias and tons and tons of zinnias, which uh, if anyone is looking for an easy cut flower that they can grow themselves, zinnias would have to be my number one recommendation. So the Ripley Fall Fair is super important to me. Um, I'm a former Ripley Fall Fair ambassador and I'm not going to say what year that was because it's going to make me sound older than I want to feel. Um, not only that, but the Ripley Fall Fair gave me my first start to showing animals and that love for agriculture has led me to study agriculture at the University of Guelph and pursue a career in the agriculture industry. Uh, agriculture is also super important to me because I did grow up on a dairy farm um, that turned into a beef and sheep farm. So celebrating agriculture in our community is super important because we are an agriculture community. So my flower farm started in the beginning of 2021 when I sowed my first seeds. However, it officially started in 2020, the year of the pandemic. Um, with flower farming, you need about a year, you need to be planning a year in advance. So when I'm harvesting flowers, I'm actually ordering seeds for the next year already. And uh, just like tulips, I harvest tulips in the spring and by that point I've already ordered all the bulbs for next year. So uh, flower farmers think about a year to two years in advance when they're flower farming. So I started drumming this idea up during the pandemic when I was, uh, qu not quarantined, but uh, when I was stuck at home. So uh, it uh, developed from just being something that I could do as a hobby into a business. So um, it's been uh, a fun first year and I'm looking forward to doing bigger and uh, better things next year. So the reason I got into flower farming was to support local. The majority of cut flowers that are sold within Canada in the United States are actually imported from South America or Europe. So growing flowers in Canada helps support the Canadian agriculture business. So if you are gonna buy flowers, make sure you request them to be local, whether that be from your florist or if you go direct to a flower farm. It's important that we support our local farmers. And if you want to follow me on social media and tag along for the journey, you can find me at Concession Blooms, with an S, on Facebook and Instagram. And thank you for the Ripley Here in Fall Fair um, organizing committee for doing this. It's uh, great to see um, everyone adapting to the crazy times we're in and uh, still going forward with the Ripley Fair. It won't be the Ripley Fair that we're all used to, but uh, just uh, having this video helps bring community support together.